Oh, Nicole, this is just a classic case, isn't it, where because you're a conservative woman, it's open season on you. Absolutely, Chris, and I called on Magda to apologise to the Prime Minister's wife, Mrs Morrison, and instead of doing so, she did that bizarre interview on A Current Affair and not just sort of doubled down but, but tripled down. Um, her original tweet using the Handmaid's Tale analogy or example was suggesting that Mrs Morrison is completely submissive to and controlled by uh, the Prime Minister, her husband, and it also reflected on what she was wearing. And then Magda goes on national television and says, oh, she didn't look like, like Mrs Morrison didn't look like she'd done her hair, hair or makeup in Magda's uh, view. And then she attacked Mrs Morrison for, oh, sorry, inferred uh, that she is a uh, hard right extreme Christian. It is so deeply offensive, Chris. It is completely unacceptable. And what really infuriates me is that Magda is someone who's been awarded one of our nation's highest honours, suggesting that she is an Australian who should be an example to other Australians uh, or provide an example to other Australians, and yet we see this sort of behaviour. And on her Twitter feed today, she's just sort of not just doubled down, but she's tripled down. It's yeah. just shocking. And she really needs to apologise. It's so disrespectful to Mrs Morrison. It's also incredibly disrespectful to the office of Prime Minister and to his family, Mrs Morrison and and their girls who sacrifice so much family time, they sacrifice so much for the nation, surely the least everyone can do is demonstrate the utmost respect to them. Just a bit of decency. The double standards are so clear and sadly Magda's going down the path of becoming the, the female uh, Mike Carlton on Twitter with these sorts of attacks. Uh, I notice also you taking issue with the ABC's Jonathan Green today. He's a radio broadcaster with the ABC. He also edits a magazine, a sort of faux intellectual magazine called The Engine, and he's retweeted an article that uh, he's published in his magazine providing some sort of pseudo-intellectual defence of Magda Zabowski. What, I mean, why can't these people just admit that this is an unfair, abusive attack on a woman for simply being the Prime Minister's wife? Couldn't agree more, Chris. And that article in question suggests that Mrs Morrison is just an object being used by her husband. She's being objectified. It's a deeply offensive article. And if Mr Green wants to put on his Twitter uh, bio that he is employed by the ABC and he also edits Mandarin, then uh, perhaps he needs to be... Very, well, I think he needs to be very clear as to whether he is representing the views of the ABC when he's making all of these tweets um, or, or whether, whether these are the views of the ABC. I mean, I think, I think we can quite reasonably infer that as an employee of the ABC, he's, he's representing the views of his employer. I mean, Chris, I am a member of the Liberal Party. You can assume when I'm saying something, I am representing the party don't and worry, reflecting yeah. exactly. if you the stuff party's up, views. You stuff like, up, I don't the party wears that. it. Yeah. I tell you what. Of course, yeah. precisely. When, pe when people attack me, they usually throw the sky after dark uh, thing in there as well. What's interesting about this too is this comes at a time where these same people, the Labor Party, the Green Left generally, are saying the Prime Minister should apologise for his attack and the sacking, or, well, the dumping in the end, of Christine Holgate, which, interestingly, was called for by the Labor Party. Yeah, I mean, there's, there, why, why can't there be a similar standard for both sides? Why isn't it the principle that matters rather than the side? Oh, precisely, Chris. And, and let's get back to basics on the Mrs Morrison issue. My plea to all Australians, my, my sincere plea is please stop judging women on their appearance. Don't judge women on who their partner is or who they're married to. And when you see these sorts of deeply sexist and unfair attacks, just call it out and say it's not on. Um, I am yet to see any evidence of sexist, anything sexist in relation to Ms Holgate's situation. Certainly it was um, uh, the commentary from both the Labor Party and the Liberal Party was, was in strong terms. But this is a woman who I believe, sorry, a person who was earning something in the order of, I don't know, two or three million dollars a year 
pretty sure if she's got an employment issue, she can afford to employ the best lawyers to defend her and protect her. And again, Chris, and I'm sure your viewers would share this view, let, show us where anything that has occurred in this situation is sexist. Spot on, Nicole. I can't disagree with that. Thanks so much for joining us.